a surprise for you. I want to present a young lady to you that whom you've seen in the movies many, many times and on your television screen, and I'll tell you who she is. Uh, you remember the little girl who used to play in the R Gang comedy with the kids? Wait a minute, put a picture, uh, put a camera on her picture, will you please? I, I know you'd, you, you'd recognize her. If you think she was cute then, wait till you see her now. And here she is, Miss Darla Hood. Doesn't she look the same? <laughs> the only different now she's married and she's got three kids. Yeah. Look what's got three kids. <laughs> well, Darla, it's wonderful, though, having you on the show. Oh, thank you, and really, And you can tell from the response of the audience how they all remembered you. Oh, yes, it's so nice. Thank you. Gee, those are gang kids. Those are great pictures, yeah. you know? Aren't they wonderful, though? How old were you when you, you made those pictures? Well, when I made the first one, I was two and a half years old. Two and a half. You were really a pinup girl, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I had lived that one. <laughs> no, but um, it must have been a lot of fun, though, uh, making those pictures. Oh, yes. Well, it was at first. But you know, Jack, they made so many of those movies, we'd no sooner finish one than we'd start another one. And well, as time went on, I became more and more exhausted until finally, after 160 pictures, I decided to retire. Well, you, you re how old were you when you retired? Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> you retired when you were 12 years old? Yes, that's right. Mm hmm. Gee, she must have been the, the youngest person in the old actor's home. <laughs> there, Jack. You see, I never had to worry about finances. Fortunately, when I was working at the studio, there was the nicest little old lady, and she helped me and gave me some very good advice. A little old lady, huh? Mm -hmm. Who was she? Shirley Temple. <laughs> oh, yeah, little old Shirley Temple. I remember when I used to help her across the street. Or did she help me? <laughs> but getting back to you, uh, uh, I understand that now... You are uh, working in nightclubs ma and making appearances. Yes, that's right, Jack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, after you had retired at 12, what made you want to come back into show business? Well, it was either that or sit around in a rocking chair for 53 years waiting for Social Security. <laughs> well, our president sits around in the White House, but in a rocking chair, I doubt that he's waiting for his Social Security. <laughs> But what, uh, what kind of an act do you do in a nightclub, wouldn't it? Well, I do a few imitations, mm -hmm. and I dance, and I sing. Oh, you sing, uh -huh. too. Well, isn't that... Oh, say, what? Dennis has a cold, and he can't sing on this show tonight. Would you like to do a number? Well, I'd just love to. Oh, would you, what would you like to sing? Uh, well, what, what does the piano player know? Chopsticks, but what would you like to sing? <laughs> What, what number? Well, let's see. How about it's a most unusual day? It's a most unusual day. Somebody call me? No! <laughs> Go ahead. We'll sing your number, will you? It's a most unusual day. Feel like throwing my worries away. As an old lady born Californian would say, unusual day there's a most unusual sky not a sign of a cloud passing by and if i want to sing throw my heart in the ring it's the most unusual day there are people meeting people there is sunshine everywhere there are people It's a most unusual time I keep feeling my temperature climb If my heart won't behave in the usual way Well, there's only one thing to say It's a most unusual
Sally, you sang that beautifully. Oh, thank you. You really did. She sure did. Boy, the way you sang that was wonderful.